Hey everyone, this is Lucy and in this video we're going to be building one of my favourite AWS Cloud projects. This is a very simple AWS project for absolute beginners and only takes around 15 minutes to build. A lot of you really enjoyed my recent video on the top AWS projects for beginners and wanted to know what other projects you can build on AWS. So here's what I'm thinking and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I want to start a monthly build with me series where every month I walk you through step by step how to build an AWS cloud project. I want to make sure these projects are very simple and beginner friendly so that it doesn't take you days and weeks to complete. In fact, by the end of each video, if you decide to follow along, you would have built a cool cloud project that combines a few AWS services. If you like the idea, comment below with the phrase let's build together just so I know whether I should make more videos like this. So for today's project, we'll be launching a static website using two AWS services, Amazon S3 and Amazon Route 53. We'll start off by creating a custom domain name using Route 53, then we'll use an Amazon S3 bucket to host a sample website. And finally, we'll enable static website hosting, connect it to the domain name, and view our website. Okay, let's jump straight into it and open up the AWS console. By the way, I'd highly recommend you follow along in real time and pause the video when you need. So the first step is to head to the Amazon Route 53 dashboard. We're going to start off by purchasing a domain name. For example, if I click on Registered Domains, you can see here that I've already registered techwithlucy.click. Let me show you how you can register your own domain name. If you click on register domain, you can type in a domain name you'd like. For example, lucyproject.click. And the reason I'm choosing .click is because it's the cheapest one I can find. Check if it's available and add it to your cart. And fill in your contact details. After I type in my details, the final stage is to accept the terms and conditions. When you're on this page, make sure you click disable when asked if you want to automatically renew your domain. That way you won't be charged after one year once your domain expires. Accept the terms and conditions and complete order. Okay, so here it says that the domain registration might take up to three days to complete, but usually it only takes around 10 minutes for me. So while we're waiting for the domain registration to be completed, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about today's video sponsor, Brilliant. One of the best ways to understand technical concepts is by going back to the fundamentals. Brilliant is a learning platform with hands-on courses in maths, science, and computer science. The lessons are very interactive and you'll be guided through fun problems that come with detailed solutions. If you're someone looking to start your career in the cloud industry and want to improve your programming skills, you can check out their programming with Python course. You can get started with Brilliant for free by heading to brilliant.org forward slash techwithlucy and the first 200 people also get 20% off their annual membership. Now let's get back to the video. So once your domain has been registered, you can then head to the next step. And the next step is to go to the Amazon S3 page and create a bucket. So this bucket will be used to host our website. So once you click on create bucket, type in the domain name that you registered, techwithlucy.click. So for this to work, make sure you use the same name as the domain you registered. For the region, you can select a region that is closest to where you live in order to make sure that you can reduce latency. So in my case, I live in Sydney, so I'm going to select the AP Southeast 2 region. Scroll down to the bottom and uncheck this block public access. This is to make sure that the users will have access to your bucket and make sure it's publicly accessible to others on the internet. Acknowledge this warning and keep all the other settings as default. So once the bucket has been created, you can see here there's techwithlucy.click as a bucket. Click into your own bucket and select upload. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload our website. And for this demo, I've decided to keep it very simple and just have a single page as the website. So I'm going to upload the contents on my website, which is this index.html file. Select upload and the page has been uploaded. What we're going to do is make sure that this bucket is enabled for static website hosting and making sure that it has the right permissions for users to access it. So if you click on properties, scroll down all the way to the bottom to static website hosting. You can see by default it's disabled, but what we're going to do is enable it. And at the index document section, type in the index document, in my case, index.html. Click save changes. 
And another thing we need to do is on permissions, we need to attach a bucket policy. So click edit and put in a bucket policy. I'll provide this bucket policy in the details below so you can copy and paste this in. Here you can see that there is the bucket name, uh, but you would have to put in your own bucket name. So I'm going to type in heck with Lucy dot click. So this policy is only a template. So you'll need to provide your own bucket name in order for this policy to work. So click save changes. And we've now configured the bucket to have the sample website publicly accessible for viewers. So once we go into this website, if you click on open, you'll see the welcome message and you see, you know, welcome to my website now hosted on Amazon S3. So what you've done at this point is you hosted the website on Amazon S3, but as you can see here on the URL, it's not your custom URL. This is a Amazon provided URL. So what we have to do now is redirect techwithlucy.click to this S3 bucket. In order to do this, we would have to go back to Route 53. If you go back to Route 53 and click on the hosted zone, at this point, when we click on our domain name, we'll need to add an additional record. And this record is to make sure that the bucket will be connected to the Route 53 domain name. So click on create record, choose the simple routing policy, click next. And now we're going to define a simple record. So for the value, as I mentioned, the endpoint would have to be the S3 bucket. So you can type in alias to S3 website endpoint. Choose the region where you hosted your bucket. Um, in my case, the AP Southeast 2 region. And then select the S3 endpoint. And you can see it's already provided for me here. Click this and then for the evaluate target health, this is something for the demo, we'll just select no and then create the record by clicking define simple record. And yep, just double confirm here, create records. It does take up to a few minutes to propagate the changes. So you can see techwithlucy.click is the custom domain and you can see that it's pointing to the S3 bucket and showing the same message. So welcome to my website now hosted on Amazon S3. In summary, what we did was we created an S3 bucket, uploaded our website content, and connected it to a custom domain name so that when users type in your domain name into the browser, they can now view the website. All right, so this brings us to the end of this video. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.